Jeffy, stop playing that. You stop playing that. I'm not the one playing it. Get out! Marvin, he's just making music. Well, I want to watch TV, so go play that somewhere else. Why would you stop playing that beautiful music? Jeffy, go! All right, buddy. Marvin, the mayor election is starting. Well, if I was mayor, first thing I'd do is I'd put tuna fish in all the vending machines up in school, and then every place going to have some tuna fish on it. Very interesting. Pistachio Pete, what would you put into school lunches to make them healthier? Pistachio, good source of protein, and I think every kid eats pistachio, very little dinner, and that pistachio, every plate, honey roast, one of my favorite, ain't no shell on those. Tuna fish got more protein in it than in there, pizza cheos. No goddamn tuna fish, eat pistachio, and vegetarian. Screw you and your vegetarian liberal shit. Gentlemen, gentlemen, calm down. This is not a shouting match. Okay, next question. Pistachio Pete, there are a lot of potholes in the roads. What would you do to fill in those potholes? I feel that some bitch with pistachios and roast smoothie butter. Tuna fish Terry, what would you do to fix our pothole problem in town? I put a can of tuna fish in that pothole and run over that some bitch. Next question, tuna fish Terry, what would you do to lower taxes in our city? I believe that all tuna fish gonna be tax free. You ain't gonna pay no tax on no tuna fish. I guarantee it. Pistachio Pete, how would you lower taxes? Her tax on tuna fish, no tax on pistachio. No, I ain't did the damn thing. You can't raise tax on my tuna fish. The hell wrong with you? No one even like got that tuna fish. Everybody like that show. Everyone loves tuna fish. It's the ticket of the sea. Ain't no one know how to say that piece of chill shit. Pistachio Pete has my vote, Marvin. He's a vegetarian. But tuna fish Terry is clearly better. I can't understand a single word that man says. He speaks very clearly, baby. You have to get your ears checked. Well, I eat pistachios every single day, Marvin. They're healthy for you. I'd rather have a tuna fish sandwich. Oh, you, you just don't get it. Tuna fish Terry's for the people, and pistachio Pete is selfish. All right, class, so today we're going to be eating lunch in the classroom because the cafeteria got a sewage leak. So the lunch lady's going to be coming around and passing out your slop. All right, kids, here's your breadless sloppy chunks. Some for use. Oh, that's so gross. And some for use. Yeah. And some for use. Ooh, yummy. <laughs> oh, this is so gross. But guys, if you don't want to eat it, I'll eat it. You're actually going to eat that, Joseph? Dude, food is food. You'll eat anything if you're poor. All right, Krauss. Make sure you eat all your food and don't make a mess. I don't want any stains on my carpet. <laughs> Damn, Joseph, slow down. I haven't eaten in three days, dude. Not everybody has a family like you or a mom that cooks for them every night. Give me your food. Okay, geez, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wish we had better school lunches. Cross, I have an announcement to make. We have a special guest today. It's Tuna Fish Terry coming to talk to you guys about his mayoral campaign. So listen. Huh? Oh my god, Tuna Fish Terry, I love him. He's for the people. Oh my god, Tuna Fish Terry, no way! Alright, everyone, get up! My name's Tuna Fish Terry, and I'm running for mayor. And I can tell all you out there ain't like that school lunch that you be having right now. So if you tell your parents to vote for me for mayor, then I'll make sure that you got Tuna Fish to say that that you eat right there. Thank you. He's got my vote. I want tuna fish for lunch every day. Yeah, tuna fish would be awesome. Now hold on, class. We have one more guest speaker that wants to talk to you. It's Pistachio Pete, and he's also running for mail. No, no, that's it. You just heard about tuna fish. Tuna fish, go. Tuna fish is busy. You know what ain't busy? That's yours. That's yours where it at. That's yours. Now listen, I promise you vote for me and mail. I'll get you a handful of that's yours every day for lunch. Thank you. Thank you, Pistachio Pete. All right, class. Now go home and tell your parents who you want to be mail. Boo! Pistachio Pete sucks! Hey, Pistachio Pete is way better than Tuna Fish Terry. He's vegetarian and pro-environment. Yeah, why don't you ask where those 10 million missing pistachios went, huh? Yeah, 10 million pistachios don't just disappear overnight. Yeah, Penelope, and ask him what happened to those pistachio secret files. You know, he shredded them before the FBI came. What were in those files, Penelope? They're full of nutrients, Junior. No, his pistachios are full of El Chapo's Coke. Come on, guys. Let's go to my house and make sure Tuna Fish Terry wins. Okay, yeah. dude. Okay, guys, we have to find a way to guarantee that Tuna Fish Terry will win mayor because I don't want to eat pistachios every day for lunch. Yeah, I'd much rather eat tuna fish. Yeah, me too, dude. Okay, Cody, check and see who's winning the election. Okay. Oh, no. It looks like Pistachio Pete has a small lead over Tuna Fish Terry. How? Well, people like that pistachios are vegetarian. They think eating tuna is cruel because you're killing fish. Well, Jesus ate fish. Facts. Yeah, that's true. And fish is better. Okay, look, we have to find a way to make Tuna Fish Terry relevant with the kids. 
you know, to get the kids to vote for him. Ooh, what if he made a rap song? Oh yeah, if Tuna Fish Terry made a rap song, everyone could relate to it. They'd be like, ooh, he's hip, he's hop, he's full of rap. So yeah, Cody, go get Tuna Fish Terry. But go get him? Yeah, go get him. Tell him you want to talk about Tuna Fish, he'll come over and we can tell him about our idea. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I guess I'm dry. Okay, guys, I found him. You want to invest in Tuna Fish? He thinks we want to invest in Tuna Fish. No, we don't want to invest in Tuna Fish. You want to sell Tuna Fish? No, we don't want to sell Tuna Fish. We want to help you win mayor. Ah. Really? Well, that was easy. So we thought if we made you a music video and a rap song, you'd be more relevant to kids and get more votes. Do the fifth. But was that a question? Yes. Do the fifth. So you want to make a music video and a rap song? There gonna be two the fifth in it? Well, yeah, I mean, of course. That's who you are. All right, do the fifth. All right, let's record the song and make the music video. Yeah, let's do this. All right, dude, I found a beat. Now all we have to do is write the song. All right, Tuna Fish Terry, tell us some stuff about yourself so we can put it in the song. Well, my name's Tuna Fish Terry, and I rent a charter boat about four or five days a week, so I go Tuna Fish fishing. I love fishing, fishing my favorite fish. And then I got two dollars, one dollar's allergic to Tuna Fish, the other dollar's don't like Tuna Fish. And I got a wife, she got diabetes, and she lost one of her foot and one of her pinky toes. And then I, got, I ain't even wear shoes because I got ingrown toenails and it hurt my feet. All right, dude, I think I just write the song. Yeah, you just write it. Yeah. Hey, it's me, Tuna Fish Terry. Just going down to the store and get some of that there Tuna Fish. I'm running for mayor, so make sure you vote. Tuna Fit, Tuna Fit. I love some Tuna Fit, Tuna Fit, Tuna Fit. I'll sell some Tuna Fit, Tuna Fit, Tuna Fit. Bitch, smell like Tuna Fit, Tuna Fit, Tuna Fit. I need some Tuna Fit. Tuna Fit Terry, I'm so hairy. Get on the boat, I call it a ferry. Fish for fish, I call it tuna. Going fishing is good afternoon. Right, make it filet, I eat it. Tuna Fit Terry, nothing can beat it. Run for mayor, shit's too easy. Vote for me, bitch, my brother is sleazy. I'm Tuna Fit Terry, now I proved it misses. So, Tuna Fish Terry, what do you think about the music video? Need more Tuna Fit. I think it has exactly the right amount of Tuna Fish. And that hot girl was dancing on you? Yeah, coochie smell like Tuna Fit. Okay. I think it's ready to go on air. Computer can fly! No, like, like it's ready to go on TV. Ah, you got a pisser? I got a shit. What'd he say? He asked if you had a pisser, but then he said he had to poop. It's down the hallway. Ah, ah, don't touch my tuna fish. It'll bite your finger off. What? He said the tuna fish will bite our finger off, but it's already dead. Gu guys, are you sure we really want this guy to be mayor? Do you want to eat pistachios every day for lunch? No, I forgot. Hog, 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 the news. What? Pistachio Pete was assassinated. That means tuna fish Terry wins. Yay! But guys, it's still sad. Nobody should be assassinated over pistachios. Hey, you can't see tuna fish Terry. Oh, the cops. Uh, no. Oh, yeah? Then whose tuna fish is this? Terry's. Why did you lie to me? I don't know. Just every time I see cops, I reach for stuff really fast and lie. That's a really bad habit to have, kid. Yeah, why are you looking for Tuna Fish Terry? Well, his brother, Pistachio Pete, was assassinated, so it would only make sense that Tuna Fish Terry be the one to do it so he could be mayor. Well, Tuna Fish Terry couldn't have done it, because he's been in my bathroom the whole time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Junior, stop. Mm -hmm. Junior, stop. Mm -hmm. Officer, tell him to stop. Yeah, kid, could you knock that off? <laughs> Tuna Fish Terry couldn't have done it. He's been in my bathroom the whole time. Have you seen him the whole time? No. Aha, uh -huh. so he could have done it. I'm going to go grab him. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, you got me, my tuna fish. Why are you eating tuna fish in the bathroom? Eat good. Okay, well, you're under arrest for the murder of your brother. Which one down? P Pistachio Pete. Oh, good riddance. Yeah, okay, you're under arrest. Come on. I ain't do me. nothing. Guys, tuna fish Terry just got arrested. No, not my boy Terry. But he couldn't have assassinated Pistachio Pete. He was eating tuna fish in the bathroom the whole time. We gotta do something. <laughs> Guys, the news. The news. Gumbo Gary? Well, he has my vote. I do like Gumbo. Guys, something really weird's going on. Don't you think it's weird that a third brother named Gumbo Gary comes out of nowhere right when Pistachio Pete got assassinated and Tuna Fish Terry gets blamed for the murder? Yeah, that is pretty suspicious. Hmm, I really wish I could find out who really killed Pistachio Pete. If I could ask God any question, it'd be who really killed Pistachio Pete. Hey. God? Yeah, I'm here to answer your questions. I'll give you one question each. No matter what it is, I'll answer it. Ooh, did dinosaurs really exist? Uh, yeah. Go to a museum. That's <laughs> sick. Joseph, what a dumb question. Obviously dinosaurs exist. Dude, I needed to know. <sighs> All right, God. My question's a conspiracy theory. Did we really go to the moon? Like, did Lance Armstrong really land on the moon? Lance Armstrong rode bikes, and he cheated, but he didn't go to the moon. No, did Neil Armstrong go? Sorry, that was your one question. Ah, damn it! Uh, my one question is, in Horton Hears a Who, are those the same Who's from the Grinch? I, I, I mean, uh, d don't, d don't answer that. Uh, sorry, I mean, because they obviously are, right? Like, they, they, they are. Hey, Tony! <laughs> 
don't, uh, don't answer. Uh, so my real question is, who killed Pistachio Pete? Oh, that was Gumbo Gary. Wait, why? Well, he wanted to kill Pistachio Pete and frame Tuna Fish Terry so that he could become mayor himself. <gasps> oh my god, can you tell the cops that? Uh, no. Why? Wait, wh why? Yeah, why? Well, I work in mysterious ways. You t tell people that. All right, guys, we have to get Gumbo Gary here and get him to admit the murder while we record it, and then we can show the cops and free Tuna Fish Terry, and we can have tuna for lunch every day. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Go get Gumbo Gary. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, I'll go. Uh. Okay, I got Gumbo Gary. Hey, what's all this tuna fish doing here? You should be eating gumbo. Well, that's why we wanted you to come here. We want some gumbo. Okay, hey, are you taking a picture of me? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Cody's a big fan of you, and he wants a picture with you. Oh, uh, okay, come on in close. You smell like gumbo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, uh, Gumbo Gary, what do you think about pistachios? I hate them. Oh, what do you think about Pistachio Pete? No, I killed him. Whoa! Whoa. Why did you kill him? Yep, I killed my brother Pistachio Pete. That way I could frame my other brother, Tuna Fish Terry, and win the election. Did you get that? Oh, yeah. Dude, it wasn't recording! Uh, uh, recording? You better not be recording that I said I killed my brother Pistachio Pete. That way I could frame my other brother, Tuna Fish Terry, to win the election. Dang, dude, my phone went dead! You use my phone, Joseph. I, I, I got you. Dude. Wait, can you say what you just said again? You, you want me to speak in this thing so it's more clear? Yeah. Alright, clear your ears out. I killed my brother Pistachio Pete to frame my other brother Tuna Fish Terry, that way I could win the election. You got it? Yeah, I totally got it that time. Oh, well, can you go get us some gumbo? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that was easy. This family is stupid. Well, let's go tell the cops. Yeah, dude. I don't know how you call me. Well, we got some pretty hard evidence. Thanks, kids. So, Cody, now that Gumbo Gary's arrested and Tuna Fish Terry's free, you think he's going to win the election? I don't know. Let's go see the news. Junior, turn on the TV. Turn on the TV. Tuna Fish Terry wins. Yeah. We can have tuna fish every single day. Let's, Cody, stop trying to kiss me. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were having a moment. Hey, boys. I just want to come by and say thank you for saving my tuna fish and clearing my name so I can win mayor. Anything for you, tuna fish, Terry. Yeah, you boys want some tuna fish? I got the tuna fish fresh this morning. It's so good right there. I, I rented out me a charter boat. I went out there. I went fishing. I just got me a lot of fish, and then I got me a tuna fish, and I was out there, and I played that bitch right Let's there on that boat. And then when I was on that boat, I was like, hey, hey, get back up in this boat, fish.